It's finally here, the new Honda HRV. Honda was so close with this one. It's missing a few details. Got it in sport. You, you, you kind of have to have it in sport because <laughs> the engine is, hmm, I would call adequate. Yes. Andrea, what is the engine? What's under the hood? A two liter four cylinder matched to a CVT, 158 horsepower and 138 pound feet of torque. Front wheel drive and all wheel drive options are available. That is one of our criticisms of this mm. is the power is mm, okay. Could be better for sure. There's yeah. definitely competitors that are cheaper that you can pick up. All right, so this is a brand new HRV. It's got to come with lots of stuff, right? Let's get into it. What are the key standard features? The base trim comes with a seven inch touchscreen, a seven inch driver display, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a four speaker audio system, a manual driver and passenger seat, heated front seats, power windows, 17 inch wheels, and blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. In the U.S., heated front seats and blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert are available one up from the base model. So there's this drive mode here. Mm -hmm. You can put it in eco. eco, normal. There's no sport. You have to put the transmission in yeah, sport. Yeah, but there is snow mode. I like that. But what are we going to put it in? You got to put it in S for subscribe. And if you can hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when all of our reviews drop and then you can watch them. And we do this, the couple car review twice a week. The first one drops on Wednesday. We put another one out on Saturday. So make sure you like and subscribe. Most important, hit that bell, but also follow on Instagram. It's motormouth underscore Andrea to get a sneak peek behind the scenes. For me, it's motormouth underscore auto. And the links are below the like button. This video is brought to you by Canada Drives. Shop online for your next used vehicle and enjoy the convenience of two-year door delivery and the confidence of a seven-day love it or return it guarantee. Visit canadadrives.ca to learn more. Andrea, yeah. they did so much right with the HRV. They did. There are a couple glaring emissions though. So we're gonna go through that as we go, uh, the price. Um, all right, so what do you think of the way it drives? I think it handles really well. What a comfortable drive. The steering feels really good. You know, when you're in the city and you're just driving along at a steady pace, the power is adequate. But once you get it on the highway and you try and pass, this thing gets louder and it struggles. But once you're up to highway speed, it sails. So the base two liter engine is really a great engine. It's been yeah. around for a while and very, very reliable. You would think the upside, Andrea, not a lot of power, great fuel economy. Oh, oh, oh but wait. We're going to get to that coming up in questions, coffee and cars. Yep. And I agree with you. The weight of the steering is really good. I'm really impressed with the visibility in here. This front window is large and this vehicle is bigger all around over nine inches longer and almost three inches wider than the outgoing model. And you can feel it in here. So the old HRV was based on the Honda Fit, mm -hmm. the subcompact hatchback. That's no longer sold in North America. They've migrated over towards the Honda Civic yeah. platform, which is also the same platform used for CRV. So it's a bigger car platform, bigger car, you know, that's what us bigger <laughs> North Americans want. We own a Honda Civic and it's actually quite fun to drive because it's lighter. It handles the lower horsepower and torque better than this. This is a bigger vehicle and you do feel it struggle. This new Honda Civic base platform is really rigid and firm. Mm. It gives you great feedback through the steering wheel, as we mentioned. Now we move to the outside, Andrea. I've got a few impressions of what this looks like. Mm. What do you think of the outside? Okay, so all I see from the front pinch grille is the Ford Escape, and mm -hmm. some may say baby Cayenne because that's how the Ford Escape was described. And then from the back, it's really quite rounded. Reminds me of the Mercedes-Benz GLC. This is not typical of what we see from Honda. It has more of a European vibe to it. I see the same brands, Andrea, but different mm -hmm. cars. Okay. When we were doing the car-to-car -car driving side-by-side, -side, yeah. it looked a bit mock-y kind of from the front. Mm. I don't know, you have a look at that. Okay. From the back, it's the Mercedes C-Class wagon. That car not sold in the United States, but was sold until this year here in Canada. And I see this has a bit of a station wagon vibe to me. Some people think that this is really uninspiring and they thought the same about the new Civic because it is quite a change for Honda. But I have to tell you this, 
Honda doesn't change their design language very often, so I really think that this won't offend anyone and it will stand the test of time and will age really well. Don't love the wheels. The wheels, yeah. the wheels look too skinny and small for the car. Yeah, I mean, they should be bolder something with a little bit more pizzazz. In Canada, we only get 17 inch wheels, but you do have available 18 inch wheels in the US, which is kind of nice. Damn you. And, you know, oh. and then the pricing is so different north and south of the border mm -hmm. too. But then you get to the inside. Mm -hmm. Well done, Honda. This is an absolute study yeah. in how to make a fantastic interior, except for the back seat. We'll get to that in just a moment. Up front, I love it here, Andrea. It echoes the new Civic, and I'm a big fan of that new Civic interior with this honeycomb design. It's beautiful and functional. There's plenty of storage in here. I really like the storage at the center console. It almost is a bit of a floating center console. And how about the traditional shifter? Well done, Honda. Yeah, so this center console tapers in. Yeah. You can put your cell phone under there and so well thought out. They put the USB ports right next to that. There's USB ports and available charging pad only on the top trim though. Yeah. And then the rest of it has got nice materials, yeah. very comfortable but you know what Andrea over here I don't have a, a seat adjustment nope. this is the most expensive model we're in and it's a fixed seat but it seems okay for my height. Unfortunately, in Canada, we do not get power seats, both manual driver and passenger, but in the US on the top trim, a power driver seat is available. Lucky you. Now let's get into the trims a bit. We've gone over the standard features. The sport model is where you're going to find a moonroof, a heated steering wheel, and the six speaker audio system. In the US, unfortunately, the moonroof is only available on the top trim. Speaking of that top trim, that's where you're going to find features like the 9-inch touchscreen with navigation, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a wireless charger, leather-trimmed upholstery. On the passenger side, you get an auto power up and down window. You also get front and rear parking sensors and an 8-speaker sound system. But things like the wireless charging pad, Andrea, yeah. only on the top trim mm -hmm. is an omission. No pano sunroof. Some brands have that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a little fun game in a bit. What can you buy for similar money mm. against this top trim in Canada? It's an eye-opener, a big eye-opener. The pricing on this thing is wackadoodle. A couple other features missing, ventilated front seats, heated rear seats, and a power tailgate not available on any trim. All right, speaking of the rear seat, this, as I mentioned at the very beginning, is yeah. a showcase in how to do a functional interior. Lots of legroom, almost perfectly flat floor, really quite comfortable. However, there's no armrest and no cup holders. There's what This is the top trim. There's no center armrest and there's nowhere to put your cups. Where am I going to put my coffee if I ever sit in the back seat? What They're, about my kids yeah. and their drinks? Yeah. Like, I don't understand that. They've made this vehicle bigger. And they made everything so much better. Yeah, but no armrest, yeah. no cup holders. Yeah, it's crazy. Not only is that back seat comfortable, but like Zach said, it offers plenty of second row leg room. The HRV and the Taos in this category offer the most. We mentioned there's no power lift gate, pretty typical in this class. There's a few that do. The Corolla Cross from Toyota, the CX-30 from Mazda or Mazda, and the Trailblazer from Chevrolet. This doesn't have it, but it does have a very big cargo space. Underneath the floor, there's even a spare tire. I applaud that. And then when you put the seats down, they're almost perfectly flat. It's really well design. Yeah, and this definitely keeps up with the competition when it comes to cargo space, but it's the Taos that offers the most. We are going to get into the pricing with our vital stats a little bit later. Just a spoiler alert, this one is over $37,000 in Canada. Yep. Oh my goodness. All Different right. story in the U.S., more competitive pricing, just a little bit more than its competitors. Let's get into it with questions. Time now for questions, coffee, and cars. Your questions from Instagram. I am disappointed by the engine choice. No turbo, no hybrid, no plug-in hybrid options. Hopefully these are coming later. Honda is way behind its competition with hybrids. Honda is way behind in electrification period. I mean, we're still waiting for a pure electric vehicle and we see Toyota, 
Hyundai, Kia. I mean, they're just killing it these days. We were at an event recently with some senior people from Honda and Acura. They know that they're behind the eight ball, especially compared to their arch rival Toyota. Uh, we do know CRV isn't going to be introduced this fall with a hybrid. Um, then the Civic in Europe is only sold as a hybrid. I think mm -hmm. that's coming to North America. And if those two vehicles can be hybridized, this can too. That's just our speculation. Yeah, it hasn't been confirmed by Honda, but that's the rumor that the HRV will eventually come with a hybrid. Now, what about this engine? The good yeah. thing about this engine, it's probably one of the most reliable engines Honda makes. So that's a plus. The downside, not that exciting. And we assume that it's not coming with the 1.5T because then it's going to compete more with the CRV. So if you want more power, buy the CRV. Did it keep the magic seats in the second row? It no. did not. What a clever idea. For was, a small vehicle? It was so good. The, yeah. the magic seats were great. I thought it was perfect for dog owners. You could flip up those uh, second row seats and you had this enormous space behind the front row. Yeah. A dog, especially an old dog, could walk right in and then all the fur and everything's on the floor. I watched this video of this guy in a band and he carried around in his little HRV three drum sets. Mm -hmm. That's pretty incredible, now but this, now it's gone. Yeah, the magic seats are gone, but yeah. this is roomy, like very, very roomy. We put out a lot of content each week on the Motormouth YouTube channel, and it's really easy to find. All you do is go to the YouTube search bar and type in Motormouth, the name of the channel, then the brand you're looking for. In this case, it's Honda, and all of our videos pop up. It's that easy. It either needs more horsepower or better fuel economy, but with its current performance numbers, I'm very unimpressed. Can't believe the 1.5T isn't even an option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fuel economy is a problem on this. This in the city gets 9.4 liters per 100 kilometers, 25 miles per gallon, and 7.8 liters per 100 kilometers in the highway, that's 30 miles per gallon. Basically, it's competition like the Seltos and the Taos beats this. Mm -hmm. This is getting fuel economy that you would get in a compact SUV. Actually, to be honest with you, the RAV4 gets better fuel economy this, and then the new Rogue with the 1.5T, now that is a turbocharged engine, we know that can be a bit iffy depending on how much you gun it, but it gets better fuel economy, and even the two liter four cylinder in the Rogue gets better fuel economy than this. So that's a problem. Well, they charge you a fortune. <laughs> and now it's time for our hot topic. What's this one, Andrea? Honda prices are ridiculous. You could get a loaded Kia Seltos or a nice four-cylinder hybrid for those prices. What's Honda's problem? So this vehicle is a tale of two countries. Mm. South of the border in the United States, you do pay a Honda premium yeah. to get this vehicle, but it's not that much. In Canada, you pay a huge premium to get this vehicle. Uh, before we answer the question, we have to do what, Andrea? We've got to get into our vital stats and go over the pricing of the HRV. Let's start with pricing. The first front wheel drive model starts at just over $28,500 Canadian and just over $23,500 in the US. The all wheel drive model is just over $31,000 Canadian and just over $25,000 in the US. The top trim we're driving all wheel drive model is just over $37,000 Canadian and just under $29,000 in the US. Here's the fuel economy, 9.4 liters per 100 kilometers in the city, 7.8 on the highway. That's 25 miles per gallon city, 30 miles per gallon highway. The HRV is not being rated for towing. The warranty is three years, 60,000 kilometers or 36,000 miles. So just to put a pin on it, this vehicle in Canada, the top trim that we're test driving is just over $37,000. Let's play a game. What else can you get for similar money? Maybe a few thousand more, maybe a few thousand less. Yeah. But what else can you get? You go first. Toyota RAV4 XLE hybrid with amazing fuel economy, way more power than this for just over $36,000 Canadian. It's cheaper. It's a thousand dollars less than this. A yeah. RAV4 hybrid. Okay, that's one. I got one for you. Yeah. What about an Audi, an Audi premium mm. car, the Q3, is $2,500 more than this. And you're driving an Audi with a four-year warranty. Yeah, with the smaller engine. And it, runs, and it runs on regular gas. Yeah. Okay, my next pick is the Kia Sportage Hybrid. That base trim in Canada is less 
than this HRV top trim. All right, now a direct competitor of the same class. How about the Kia Seltos, but mm. not the base engine, the 1.6 liter turbo with the dual clutch transmission, a similar kind of size to yeah. this. It's just under $34,000, so it's about $3,000 less than the HRV. And guess what? It comes with ventilated front seats and heated rear seats. So that just shows you Honda, these prices in Canada are much too expensive. This is a hot category. We've touched on one competitor already. Let's see what else you can buy. For your consideration, four vehicles for you to consider. Up first is the Toyota Corolla Cross with a two liter four cylinder, 169 horsepower and a starting price of just under $25,000. The Subaru Crosstrek with a two liter four cylinder, 152 horsepower and a starting price of just $25,000. The Kia Seltos with a two liter four cylinder, 146 horsepower and a starting price of just over $23,500. Here's our used car alternative from CanadaDrives.ca. We chose something just a little bit different. A 2019 Volkswagen Golf Sport Wagon with just under 44,000 kilometers on the clock for $28,590. Click on the tab or the link in the description below to find more vehicles in this category from CanadaDrives.ca. So there are four subcompact crossovers for you to consider. Lightning round. Two things we like, two things we like to see improve. I really like the way that this handles and the comfort level. It's so well designed on the inside. I'd love to see some cup holders back there, Honda. And the price? Did we mention the price? I give Honda props for creating a functional and well-designed vehicle, but the price is much too high. Next up, the CRV. Can't wait. This video is brought to you by Canada Drives. Shop online for your next used vehicle and enjoy the convenience of to your door delivery and the confidence of a seven day love it or return it guarantee. Visit canadadrives.ca to learn more.